Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is a little bit different. This week I'm sharing a and something I turned a while ago that was not successful. Um, I'm sure we've all had our share of those. And I'm sharing it because I get a lot of um, questions and feedback about mistakes or learning and I thought I would share an entire video where um, we didn't see the, I didn't do a f final video on the finished product, but I did get close to the end of this project and it just did not turn out the way I wanted. Um, though I learned a lot throughout this project, I think I learned what not to do next time. Obviously here you can see that I'm mixing up the resin and getting ready to pour it in the bowl. Here it is all poured in with some of the pom-poms in the bowl. And after the resin and the pom-poms are set, it goes in the pressure pot and stays in for a few hours. And then we take it out and get it on the lathe. And if you didn't notice from the title, um, stick around until the end where I have some photos of a vacation that I'm, at least while I'm recording this, I am still on. And um, some wood related photos too. So here it is all out of the lathe. I'm examining it. Um, didn't come out the way I wanted it, but still going to get on the lathe and see what we can do with it. And here it is on the lathe, uh, making the foot. using a negative rake carbide tool here from Easywood Tools. And hey, if you're new here, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It is free and you won't miss a video that I put out uh, about once a week. I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. So still working with the uh, negative rake carbide tool. Still working on the foot and the side of the bowl a little bit. And if you're wondering why I turned a bowl with resin and pom-poms, um, I don't really know. I don't have a good answer except that it seemed like a good idea at the time. Here I'm using the sander to knock down some of the uh, sharp edges. And at this point, I'm thinking to myself that this probably isn't going to turn out. But I keep at it for a little bit and try to try to fix it, but uh, end up just stopping at, at one point. And, and getting to work on the inside of the bowl. Sticking with the carbide tool here. This tool is the Easywood Tools number one hollower. Negative rate carbide tip. Really works great on the resin, as you can see the resin just flowing off like ribbons. And I know I mentioned this at the beginning, but it's worth mentioning again. Um, I'm sharing this video of a you know, bowl that didn't come out. You could call it a failure. Um, I choose to call it a learning experience. And uh, if somebody can learn something from my learning or my failure, uh, then it's wor worth sharing. And it, it just goes to show you that you know people that are putting out videos, they do great work. But I'm sure that they have made um, some mistakes or um, 
had some not so su successful projects uh, along the way. So um, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to have projects that are just as bad as this one <laughs> and uh, perfectly okay. And if you look at the bowl from the side here, you can see how it was uh, meant to turn out with you know, just colorful pom-poms and clear resin and um, be kind of unique. So, you know, as I said in the beginning, I, I learned enough with this one that I think if I do it again, I will change just a couple of things and uh, hopefully get the next one to turn out. And if I do, of course, I'll share it with you. And look at all the mess there, the cotton candy or confetti-like shavings everywhere, including on me. Um, resin gets everywhere. You can't help it, even with dust collection. So a little bit of a different camera angle here. So as I'm recording this voiceover, I am on vacation in Florida, visiting family. And the photos that you're going to see in, in a moment at the end are some vacation photos where, um, you know, if you're a Turner, you know, but you go to places that uh, you wouldn't normally get to because you live far away and see things related to, to wood turning and have to have them. Um, which is the case of, of, of me in this case, and uh, I have a picture of uh, one of the stores that I visited, which I highly recommend if you're in the uh, Jacksonville, Florida area. And leaving, leaving Maine here at the airport, this is my daughter. In the sunny, warm weather. ready to go. It was snowing when we left, so we're pretty happy. Eco Relics is the name of the store in Jacksonville. Very cool store. A lot of live edge uh, lumber. Just the woodworker's dream, really. Lots of cookies. No, I didn't buy all of them. Um, I did buy one of these, though. You'll see that in a second. This is the one I bought, a black walnut a slab. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And make sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the bell icon so you'll be notified when I have a new video. Until next time, peace out.